What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're trying to recreate some filmic looks on some photos in Lightroom using the plugin Dehancer. First up, to be fully transparent, Dehancer kind of brought this episode to you. They have not paid me to say anything good about it. However, they gave me a free license for their product to use it and try it out in this video. And even after this video. So since I love myself some filmic looks and mostly film grain in my photos, we're gonna try this plugin out in Lightroom today. They also have versions for video editing software with this plugin, but since they don't offer one for Final Cut yet, just for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. And since I work in neither of those softwares, we're gonna try it out in Lightroom today. However, they told me they are working on a Final Cut version. So once that out, we're gonna take a look at this plugin as well in Final Cut for some videos. But today, let's edit some photos, starting with this beautiful image I took in Frankfurt, Germany back in 2018 or 19, I guess. Let's use this image to try out the plugin. Okay, so first, of course, I'm gonna do some basic adjustments here in Lightroom itself and not in the plugin, just so that we have a good starting point where we could work from, maybe a little bit more contrast, and of course, I need to straighten it because I don't know why the horizon isn't correct. Maybe I was drunk when I took it. I wasn't, I was a minor when I took it. Okay, let's use the five to four aspect ratio, even though that is not Instagram's standard aspect ratio anymore, but I still like it pretty much. I think it's a beautiful aspect ratio. So let's crop the image just like this. Maybe a little bit of clarity, but I don't wanna to do too much in Lightroom because of course now we're gonna edit this photo with the Dehancer plugin extension for Lightroom Classic. So to use this plugin, we have to go to the library view and then right click, or if you use a trackpad, double click on the photo, go to edit in, not Adobe Photoshop, but with the Dehancer Lightroom plugin. I'm not gonna show you how to install it. They have a PDF explaining every single step and it's actually pretty easy. Even I managed to do it, so you should be able to do it as well. So let's click on edit and there we go. Now it should open up the Dehancer extension and we can already see the colors have changed because we have a lot of film stocks to choose from like kind of better Instagram filters. You can click on the different styles to choose a different film stock. You can even sort them by color negative motion picture and all of this, but I'm gonna display all of them. And now we can just take a look at all of these beautiful film stocks. Actually, I hate doing something like that because I can never make up my mind on which of these assets or film stocks I want to use. Even with my normal presets in Lightroom, I can never, I'm, I don't have a style, honestly. I don't have a specific style. Sometimes I like this, sometimes I like that. It's pretty bad, I should develop an own style Style, but I don't know, I just can never decide. Everything just looks so beautiful. I like that we're using this photo for the film emulation stock stuff because it's kind of a vintage photo. It looks like, I mean, it's it's an old house. I mean, of course you can see there are some modern lights outside, but the room itself is pretty, pretty vintage, if I might say so. Okay, so which film stock are we going to take? I like this one. Should we settle on this one? This looks also pretty good. Mm, maybe we're gonna use this one. Feel free to tell me down below in the comments which one you would have taken. And of course, also feel free to send me your pictures on Instagram if you're using this plugin and you created some nice vintage images. Okay, so now let's look at what we can change with the plugin. We can of course change the temperature just like in normal Lightroom. And what I really like is they added that if you just double click on it, it changes back to the normal setting. Really important feature, I really like that. So we can really easily look on what everything does and then double click on it to change it back. Of course, I know what tint does, but you get the point. You can just see what each different setting does and then change it back to the normal setting. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother with these settings up here that much because we kind of already changed that in Lightroom itself. Where it gets interesting is down here on print. As you can see, we have a few different things to choose from. We have normal linear, we have Cineon film log, we have Kodak print film, and Kodak Endura Glossy Paper, which is the one we're gonna take because Glossy looks the best in my opinion. And yeah, we can just change the exposure again, but these are, again, the things we already changed in Lightroom. And also we don't want too much contrast. Maybe change the color density a little bit, more or less. As you can see, I can never decide. Maybe I just can't edit photos. Maybe I'm just a bad editor. Okay, when it comes to color head, we can make it look like really, really old. How do you say in English? Hold on. Oh, it's that simple. It looks like a yellowed picture. If a picture is really old, it, it gets yellow sometimes. We're gonna leave it on the basic settings for now, but let's activate some film grain. That's what I wanna see. If we zoom in, we can get a better picture of how the film grain looks. Of course, we can change the size. We wanna have more grain. We can go all out with the grain, but that's a little bit too much. I like to keep it subtle, but so that we can still see that there is some film grain, of course. 
We can change the amount. Also, don't want to mess with that one. We can change the resolution of the film grain, but I'm just going to leave that on the basic settings because it's already pretty good in my opinion. You don't really have to change that much. The enhancer is already pretty good at emulating the film, even if you don't change that much. You can change the grain in the shadows. Of course, we might want to have a little bit more grain in the shadows and a little bit less grain up here in the highlights because that's normally how it goes. Now, the next thing we can change is halation. Add a little bit of diffusion, which if we put it all the way, you can see kind of diffuses the edges down here. But I'm not going to give it too much because we're going to do that with the bloom settings down here. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Just really mess it up and make it look like it's an organic picture that was taken with film and not with a digital camera, which is basically what we're trying to emulate here. You can always click on preview up here. If you remove the check mark, we can see how it looked before, how it looked after. We're already having quite a bit of success at making it like an organic film picture, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Let's keep on going with the bloom setting. I really like this one because if you go to the amplify setting, you can make it look like you shot it with a really good black promise filter and kind of bloom all of the highlights, which looks pretty beautiful in my opinion. I mean, I would even go as far as to say I want to go all out with it. Maybe dial a little bit back because it looks a bit, bit much. And um, yeah, we have a lot of different settings. I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what every one of these settings does. I'm just trying out a little bit, sliding around and look at what looks better in my opinion. That's just how I edit my photos, basically. Of course, we all know what the basic settings do, like the highlights, the blacks and whatever in the basic editor in Lightroom. But these settings are just very new for me because of course you don't use them every day because they're out of the Dehancer plugin. And lastly, we can just add a slight vignette. I'm not a huge fan of vignettes, but a little bit maybe looks good in this picture to draw your attention in the middle to the door and you can't really see it. I'm not a fan of, you know, like doing something like this. I don't really like that, but this should be fine. Okay, so let's zoom out, look at the entire picture and now look at the before and after. This is how it was before. Pretty cool picture, but once we added the Dehancer plugin, and changed all of these settings. I think we have made quite the difference and created a really filmic image. Definitely let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Here on screen you can see some other examples of other images that I edited with the Dehancer plugin. Basically just the other four images that you saw at the beginning in the Lightroom catalog. Just to give you some more impressions of what you can create with this awesome plugin. If you want to download the plugin for yourself, feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And that's already it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can watch more videos right here and right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Cheers and thanks again to Dehancer for giving me the opportunity to review this plugin in this video. Goodbye.